Once you can identify the layer groups, you can expand each layer group to see what's inside. Your goal for this activity is to create a custom still life, like you would see like in a painting class. If you turn on the visibility of the backgrounds layer group and expand it, you'll see that there are several backgrounds to choose from. You can choose grass, this blue wooden background, what looks like maybe concrete or asphalt, a whitewashed board, or even a scene that has grass on it. You'll also need to choose a container. What do you want to put your fruit or your elements of your still life in? And again, I'm going to turn off the visibility on all of the container layers and turn them on one by one. You can choose this milk bowl. There is a goblet, a wooden box or container. This black one here is the best one to choose if you don't feel comfortable experimenting with Photoshop skills that we have not already covered. I'm going to show you a few techniques in this video that you can use, but they're not specifically required. And so if you don't feel comfortable with the eraser tool or selections or things like that just yet, this one's great because I've already erased the background of the container. And all you have to do is stack up the fruit or vegetables or flowers, whatever you choose to use behind it. And then the last uh, container option is a white bowl. Once you have decided on your background and your container, you need to choose what's going to go inside it. So in the elements layer group, there are a series of fruits, vegetables, and flowers that you can use in any combination to create a custom still life. Let's jump back over to Canvas so you can see the examples that we provided. You can see that we've used two different containers and three different backgrounds to show you how you can vary your design. In each example, we use the same fruit, but you'll notice that some of the fruit is is included multiple times. You can duplicate layers, you can uh, reposition layers and drag them up and down on the layers panel. You can use the eraser tool to erase part of the image. The examples on the bottom are examples that you should be able to create using the skills in the lecture. So we've stacked up fruit, we've repositioned layers and things like that, we've moved items on layers. The top examples are a little bit more difficult. They'll require you to remove the part of the fruit, or in this case the apples, that you don't want to see. And that's the example that I'm going to show you so that if you are feeling up to it, you can put items in a container as opposed to sitting behind a container.